Hi friends, welcome. In the part one, we have seen how to create a, add a grid to our PDF document and we have used fixed coordinate creating to list and then we have also added a string to the grid to know the where exactly the string goes. Now we'll use a two dimensional list, a triple, a row, four triples and inside a list. So and that will uh, use it to create the grid and then place the data inside the grid. So that way we can take the data from a database or any other sources and dynamically we'll place the, these data in, in our grid system, which is created based on our data. So before we move, my request is please, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are adding new, new tutorials. Let's start the script. We'll start from here. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about the part one of it. We have gone up to this point. Now let me just uh, start here again. I'm just installing the report lab. So this is not coming with the by default with Colab. So it is available now. So I have to install pip install report lab. Now once it is there, then I am just importing some modules from it. So these are the canvas and the A4 because that is the layout, the size of the page. Now in the next I am just declaring one PDF file here. This file will be created here. So in your local system, if you are running it, then you have to give a full path, my path equal to your C drive, then directory, subdirectory, then the file name you whatever next, you want. Uh, we'll come here, to, uh, we'll just uh, create the canvas here. So this is the canvas object, what will be using it. Then the from the A4, whatever we have imported here from A4, we have just gone to width and height we are picking up from here and we are just printing the value and before taking the float values because the whatever the values are in float so integer we are using int to convert it to integer then we are part one we have also seen we have taken two list that is the coordinates and in the coordinates we have added the grid x list and y list but note that in the part one we have also discussed what is the bottom up equal to one by default so it zero means the height will be zero uh, will start from the top bottom up equal to one means bottom of the a4 page or the page will be starting at zero so the coordinates here you can see h minus 20 20 is the gap from the top so it is the grid is at the top 20 so starting point is the from the top it is 20 because we have used bottom up equal to one so up to this point we discussed in the part one now let's just see this and here we will not use the string anymore we'll because we are going for the uh, directly to <clears throat> place the grid over that so no string and the save we need not save it here in fact this part i will just comment it because after finishing part two here the same again the same canvas is there so here we'll introduce the same code here c dot save because once it is completed, we'll use this. We'll start placing our data. So it is a list of uh, four tuples. So four rows of data and you can see there are five columns means there are five elements in the tuple. So five columns and four rows. This is the data we'll be using it. And from this data, we'll take the our dimensions for the our uh, whatever the grid we create because then that way it will be dynamic once your data changes our dimension will automatically take the shape so for that we'll say rows and calls so these are the rows and columns of the grid what will be using it so for that len first rows is l len l1 so number of rows it takes up from here and the columns here will be len <coughs> L1, the first element we are taking it and number of elements within the tuple we are taking it as columns. That's all. So that is the our values for the rows and columns. Now one more is width of the cell. We'll set the values only. Width of the cell, then height of the cell. These two values we will set. You can change it at a central point. So we can 75 and 20. So we got it the height and width, width of the each cell. So once you change it, the entire dimension will change. Now get the dimension from the grid and use the same to create the grid. So now let's just create the, we know for the grid, we need a list of uh, our coordinates in the horizontal direction and in the vertical direction. So X list, that is the list what you will be uh, creating. X list equal to list. Now 
constructor now what will be using range for this range means it's a starting value and the end value and the step the end value is stops one before so it is 0 to 5 means 0 1 2 3 4 and the by default it is one but we'll give a step value for x direction is our whatever the width of the cell we are given and for the y list or the vertical one we'll give the height of the cell as the step value and the end value also based on this height and width you use will decide the end value so what you are taking is range now starting point we are given it as 20 so x value horizontally it starts from 20 now we'll take the width of the cell multiplied by now we'll say number of columns we have sorry uh, calls plus one why one because it stops one before so we are adding that one and number of that that we are 20 plus we are going and the step value is anyway width of the cell fine now let's come for y list <clears throat> y list equal to list again so this is a range also now its starting point is y minus 20 we had discussed already because it's a bottom up so the first point will be from the bottom 20 from the top we are minus then that we are, we are getting the starting point what should be the end point h minus again height minus now height of the cell multiplied by how many rows of data are there rows and plus sorry equal to okay, plus two now this will be our uh, why we are plus two we are taking it here not one because uh, as for that range stops before one so because this is because when you have seen the an alignment it is at the top above it goes so what happened if you just use one then one last row will remain you can just experiment by taking rows equal to plus one and see the last line will not will be blank because it the data or whatever it goes it goes one above oh, sorry it, it aligned to the top that is why we are taking it plus two now let me just say minus this is the step value height of the cell so fine so now with using this we can see dot grid uh, c dot grid equal to x list y list now that's all this is there so y minus 20 why it is uh, okay 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 from the top i have to run it again c listing wh now i have to run this also fine now let okay let me just run one by one my pdf now this i have run this i am running now i got the okay this is from the part one actually it's not required here once i commit let me just create the data once again then the dimension rows and columns height and width now they let me run this so name y is not defined sorry is not h this is not y this is height so fine let me just run this okay so i got it now now if okay already it is there let me just remove this one uh, delete or it will overwrite also so let me just overwrite it and run it once fine it's saved so this file is created again now let me if i download it and run it i will see the blank diamonds uh, grid which is taken the rows and columns my pdf3 fine which has taken the rows and columns based on the data and created the grid for me you can see this this width and height whatever we have set it and the rows and columns there are four rows and five columns based taken based on our data now we'll place the, our data in the grid so here we will do that what we will do is we'll add one more code block here so now we will loop through each and every rows and column and then take that data and put it in the cell so that's what we will do so for i in range rows so this is the number of rows inside that we'll loop through the each call uh, horizontally also or each column wise so for j in range call so now the column wise so first column so row will start from the first row column one then column two column three column four like that then next row column one column two column three like that so j value will 
repeat itself within the i value so let me just now will inside this will add the string c draw string so now what happens once i am giving the c draw string now first is x value y value then the string the string is nothing but our data so each cell data one by one will take it so for that what you are going to do is x list now we'll say j sorry x list is a list only so we are taking the j value but here i am just this is the position x list because this x list y list we have created here these are the nothing but coordinates list of horizontal coordinates list of vertical coordinates here i am adding two here why i am adding two sorry two here because otherwise what will happen it will flush with the uh, wall of it so i just want to give a gap or padding i want to give it so i am giving two you may ask me how i know the value is to it's just by trial and error keep on changing this value you will see your data will shift so i have just done that work so i am adding it to here so then y list this is the vertical value y list and here i am going to the value of i because in a uh, first uh, the what happened the x value keeps on changing y value remains one because it is inner loop i minus here i am minus because again if you see the string alignment it it is just goes above that one so wherever it is so now i have to bring it below this and this so what i am going to do is minus i have to put height of the cell one divided by 1.5 okay let me just write that then you will see that one so okay before that let me okay put it this way height of the cell whatever i have declared at the top divided by 1.5 you can do it half also based on your font size this is just placing only how much top edge the gap should be or bottom edge how much it what way you call it so height of the cell 1.5 but this will give me a decimal value so what i am going to do is i will convert this to integer i am writing int here so 1.5 you may again ask me how i got precisely 1.5 that's big i just tried it keep changing it make it half height of the cell divided by half where exactly within the cell vertically the, the string should be aligned that is the only value if you make it half if it looks good fine give it half. instead of 1.5 use it 2 okay now next line i will come so here i am saying uh, now the string actually it is the now x and y coordinates i have fixed now the string i will put it so what i am going to do is here for our understanding before placing the the string i will consider two parts i will say what cell it is dash then the data if you can remove it also the location of i am just defining which cell it is say first row second cell first row third cell so 0 2 uh, is 1 2 1 3 1 4 next line 2 1 2 1 2 2 like that so for that what i am going i am just adding converting into string and adding the value of i here then plus str uh, j rows column this is a number only nothing to do with my data now my data here starts but i'll just give a gap one dash i am giving is just a gap between the cell number and the real data so now i am adding the real data so i am giving string addition uh, here it will be l1 i now again j so this is fine but if you see the data these are all some integers are also there 75 85 so this will generate error because i am adding it to a string so what i will do i will use str before that so i am converting it to a string even if it is a string also no problem it will convert to a string if it is an integer it will convert to a uh, uh, string that is my reason is because i can't do a addition of a integer to a string because prior before that it's a string only so i can't do that so now that's all this will create the uh, one for me let me just run this cell once yeah it has run means my d strings are added to this present git let me just save it once what happened class document instead can be saved once okay okay let me just run one by one once more so here by for the my understanding i am just deleting this one delete the file okay 
removed the file previously whatever i have created now let me just go from here now canvas i am creating taking the height and width i am not running this because this is not required subsequently we have used our data so this from this data we have taken rows and columns we have taken now the dimension x list and y list we have created now we are adding this to our string is added to this and now we will try to save this so finally it is saved now let me just refresh this yeah my pdf now here i can download it like this or i can just simple add a download code now download code is a simple this is not actually not um, must in this you can use it or not this is just for the downloading this is a google feature collab sub feature sorry collab import files fine now files download my pdf dot pdf now what will be this line will just same this file it will give me the window to download it so i'll just run this it will open the window for me to download and save it yeah it has given me that now i have opening up see this grid so this first two digits are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. this is because we have added the string of uh, what is the cell number ij value that's what we are getting it here now let me just take you to that tab here it is now you can see here this is the one str i str j that is because of that this is coming one one this just you can remove it also if it's not required then i have given a dash then the values are id values all these thing female whatever the data is there based on our data here that is collected this data this data is collected and put it here there are sub subsequently also you have some more requirement because if the number of rows increases then what will happen we need automatic uh, page break so next page it will go i want to repeat the first column header all these things but these are the grids so you have a very structured data then you can use the table then why you should use grid and why you should use table that's a three four points are there if you want a precise positioning of element and all you can go for a grid but you have a lot of data structured data to publish then it is better to use table but grid also will help you to understand how the alignment will be and you can grid you can on and off you can often do it to check the alignments that's uh, that's the main reason why we grid, use the grid to, so we can precisely when we are not sure how much the width and data our data will be varying and all so we want a precisely one graph then one text we want to place it so there the grid will help us that's all friends hope you have a good uh, learning experience and if you have any doubts suggestions questions use the comment section below to post it my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also please please share this with your friends and thank you for watching